Hi, welcome to TechRanch, a place where we learn and earn technical skills in the most efficient way. Let's make coding fun. Practice project ideas, word clock. Today we are going to show you a live demonstration of word clock web component using JavaScript and HTML. Before we get into the demonstration, let's first see the requirements. Design. Here we are going to consider an analog clock plugin, which will include all the images of the skin of the clock, the pointers, the handles, and other type of look and feel of a clock. Date in calendar. It's optional. You can add more details in a digital form, like the digital clock with some more information, the different types of formats you can add and include the date. So you can also include the calendar plugin in your web component project. Different types of time zones and their calculation. So when it comes to the word clock, all the different countries have their different time zones. So based on that, we need to calculate and display that time and uh, add it in your uh, analog clock. So based on that uh, type of uh, information has to be included in this project. Location reference and label. So here you can see we have mentioned the location reference. So based on this reference, the labeled country, we are showing the time. So this is how this kind of clock will look and feel. And these are the requirements we need to implement in this project. Now development, based on these requirements, since it is a static web project, we have to use HTML, hypertext markup language, CSS for the designing. So CatCat style sheets for any kind of specific format you want to display or different types of format. So you can use and change the code in CSS. JavaScript will help you to have the analog clock plugin included and this will make the changes as per the time change. So basically JavaScript will help you to your real time clock. So linked to jQuery calendar and time zones plugin. So this will help you to in linked into the jQuery plugin, which basically work on calendar and different types of time zones and images. Images basically nothing but the, those resources we have used for creating an analog clock. So the pointers and the clock handle, skin of the clock, all these things are nothing but the images. They are not uh, in specific code. And uh, we just presented that images in such a form that looks like you're a complete clock. Execution, since it is a static web project, you don't need to have the server deployment, but in case it's an optional, you can add this particular web component in your dynamic web project and uh, include it in your website. HTML browser dependent application. So all you need to have the HTML code and include this script in your HTML. Location defined and called it in script. That means uh, based on the location, we have to call the script and uh, showing the uh, complete information about the time, date and based on that location. And all we need to have the adding the location and add that respective clock for that location. Now let's take a look at the demonstration, how it will look. So you can see this is my, uh, out. this is going to be my output. Here we have added different uh, clocks for different locations so you can see here there are different types of uh, analog clock format so these are nothing but the images at different types of uh, clocks some looks like a square shape and the circle shape and the uh, dial is black and white and gray or numbers or just uh, signs so these are nothing but the images so you can have more images and more types of more different types of clocks you can add in your project. Now another thing what you can see it's an optional to add your formats like a date format or time AM PM or just in a 24 hour type of format. So all these are different types of uh, format and different types of clock you can use it in your application 
uh, as per your requirement. Now, since we have added uh, different locations like Houston, New Delhi, Seoul, and Tokyo, Atlantic, Cape, and Berlin, and Sydney, and Hawaii, I will show you one more country and their respective time zones in the demo. Now, let's take a look at the execution. So, this is my Eclipse ID and this is my project. This is a static web project and inside this project, we have CSS that includes your all uh, types of format format and I and this is the images of the clock so five format we have five types of clock included in the images and this is our JavaScript so this is all our uh, JavaScript and uh, here is my index HTML in this HTML we have uh, included the different types of formats for different types of country so all we need to do if you see this execution in the browser I will open it for you and show it to you and later we'll add one more I'm not deploying it in server because we don't need to include server deployment in this application so you can see here this is my actual uh, execution of all the Clocks. So we have added Houston, New Delhi, Seoul, Tokyo, Atlantic, Cape, Berlin, Sydney, and Hawaii. I'm going to add one more country in the demo is Alaska, and I'll show you. You can see here we can have the mouse over text details in the digital form, and uh, it's it's different skin of the clock and different types of format like AM, PM, and 24 hour and with date format and there are different types of date formats also for the countries where they have this kind of format for month and date and year now year and month and date so based on that it is a different type of look and feel for different type of countries for their respective clocks now let's add Alaska and see how it looks for Alaska what we need to do we need to just include the script first this is a script and since I'm going to use for Alaska I'm just going to name it it's just a definition Alaska and their offset is nothing but the GMT difference so for GMT difference an Alaska country is GMT minus one nine so I'm going to use minus nine and uh, there are five types of skin format for the clock so I'm going to have it for this clock is three now I need to define this clock Alaska in the script definition to call it in the division in my HTML so you see here all I'm going to use is calling this uh, ID in my script so we first we create a script and then we call that script in the HTML using division tag now let's take a look at the execution so here you can see Alaska and this is a second type of third type of format of the clock you can change the format and uh, this is the time and uh, format so you can change the date format if you want or I need to change it to 4 skin 4 So you see so here this is changed and I can make it 24 hour type of uh, time zone so title I'm going to change it for little better form and the skin I'm going to make it for second type which is a square and black dial and in case if I wanted to make in a different date format I so for having a string type of format on date what you can do suppose I wanted to have 2d and month in a string form and year and my date which date is so let's see how it goes no problem, 
So what we can do, we can provide the different formats for different clocks. For example, time and the 24 hour time format. Now time with date, with the date in the form of a month and date and year. Now here time and uh, again like different types of date format if you see here year month and date and uh, the same way here and even you can provide like this 26th april 2020 like in a textual form even you can include the day sunday and when you mouse over it it will give you the details so this is what the demonstration of uh, analog uh, word clock web project implemented in javascript html and css so this is uh, about the web project uh, static web project uh, analog word clock implementation using javascript html and css this is one of the most popular and important feature you can add in your web application where it is more customized form that you can use the location and location base you can see the time zone this is also possible to include it in a digital clock so let's take a look for the digital clock as a new addition in this which is also implemented in html so you change your location and it will show you the digital time the country so this kind of feature is very uh, important to add in your application and uh, make it more uh, responsive so this is all about the demonstration for any kind of questions concerns source code needed please feel free to contact the crunch 2019 at gmail.com Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more upcoming interesting informative sessions and demonstrations. Let's make coding fun. Thank you.